You know what really freaking sucks? When you get super excited that you just finished recording your whole video and then you go back to watch it and you realize that you never pressed record. Hope when you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. That is just what happened. Like, I literally had everything set out. I literally spent like 20 minutes just sitting here talking to the camera, showing off everything. And I did it really good. I tried really hard to make it a really good video. And I was super excited to watch the And I realized, Catherine, you never pressed the record button. I'm an idiot. So in other news, welcome to my video. Welcome to my channel. I've attempted to start YouTube channels in the past, but I just kind of stopped doing it because I got too busy. I'm just really frustrated right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, now I have to film this whole thing. It's recording. I can see right there. It's recording, so it's good. It's going to be part one of my back to college haul video and where I live, we have an extremely high sales tax. <sighs> Like, you don't even know, like, I'm not going to tell you where I live, but it is so flippin' high. I don't... Don't even, don't even pay attention to me. Like, don't even, like, I'm not even here right now. We have August 1st through the 3rd, and it is tax-free shopping holiday, and it's just, like, Black Friday. People go crazy, people, like attack clothes on like shelves and tear apart things and it's just like freaking madness i just got back from the mall like how long ago like maybe an hour ago and i didn't even buy anything there but it was just so freaking crowded it was like people running over each other i was like for tax free shopping and we picked out a lot of cute stuff for me and if you know me, you know that I dress very nice every day. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love wearing, like, frilly dresses and just, like, really complicated outfits every day. And I was talking to my college friends, and they were like, Catherine, you cannot wear frilly dresses every single day to your classes. So I've been looking for more, like, loungewear type things. So that's kind of what this is going to be. And... My mom and I went to Forever 21, Zara, Old Navy, Aerie, and I went to Kinda Cans by myself. So this is going to be part one of that haul. It's gonna show you the stuff that I bought over the past two days, and the other part will have stuff that I've been kind of collecting over the summer for my back to school. Today at Forever 21 was this green scarf. I am a huge fan of scarves. I love scarves so much. And I walked in and I saw like all these like beautiful fall colors and I was like, yes, must have that. So they had these really pretty scarves. They had it in like burnt oranges and grays and blacks and white and like this color, maybe like a few others. I don't remember, but I like that was the first thing I picked up when I walked into the store. And mom was like, oh my gosh, Catherine, you have to have this because my eyes are like greenish hazel and it's like almost the exact color of my eyes and it just makes them stand out so much. And it's just so fuzzy and warm and it's like really long and it's like a really big scarf. So I'm definitely gonna wear this whenever like fall comes around. Oh, so I don't know why I turned into a British accent all of a sudden, but I've been looking for some good pairs of leggings. So we walked around the store and also my mom was like, Catherine, Catherine, come here. So I walked over there and they had leggings for three dollars and ninety cents i was just so pumped i was like yes must have that mother so we picked up two pairs of just plain black leggings for me and then a few pairs for my sister because you know why not they're 390 why not buy every single pair so we picked up a lot of pairs of these but these super high-waisted jeans from forever 21 I'm in love with these. Like, I hate wearing pants unless they're high-waisted. Like, 
it has like that's a requirement must be high-waisted so these are like extreme high-waisted at least on me they're extreme high-waisted and it's just these um dark blue pair of skinny jean high-waisted pants and they were how much they were $17.90 so pretty decent price um, I don't really like to spend a lot of money, so that's usually why I primarily shop at Forever 21. Because people are always like, oh my gosh, Catherine, where's that from? And like 99% of the time, it's Forever 21. Because as a student, I don't have a whole lot of money, so I just try to keep it cheap. So I bought these from Forever 21. I needed a new contacts case because I wear contacts. My eyesight is extremely bad. I have glasses, but I never wear them. They're um brown michael kors glasses but i got this cute little daisy contacts case and it's just white with little daisies on black dress it's extremely loose and thin so i thought it'd be good like walking around campus in because like i've already worn this i bought it the other day and like it was super hot and i wore it and i didn't really like sweat a ton so i really liked that and it just looks like this it is black with two lace stripes on like the midsection part. And although it has longer sleeves, like it is really, really thin fabric and it's really breathable. So I think it'll be like fine to wear around campus. I never liked Birkenstocks like my whole life. I think I used to have a pair when I was little, but they kind of went out of style and I just kind of like despised Birkenstocks. And then I started seeing that Birkenstocks were coming back in style and I went to the mall and I found like a real pair of Birkenstocks and I was like, I looked at the price and I was like, not buying that. That was like over a hundred dollars. And I was like, can't do that. So I was on my goal to find a pair of knockoff Birkenstocks. And then lo and behold, I walk into Forever 21. The first thing I see is knock off Birkenstocks and I had seen them online didn't think they would have them at my store black knock off Birkenstocks as you can see I've already worn them unfortunately that's why you can see my footprints like in the shoe but they look almost exactly like Birkenstocks they're just black and it has the typical like Birkenstock two straps on the middle part of the foot and they had this also I think an apricot shade and maybe brown and black so i just picked out the black ones because they're very versatile and i can wear them with the dress i'm wearing now or with pretty much any color dress i can wear them with shorts and leggings and uh blue jeans i hate wearing closed-toed shoes and i most people i know just wear tennis shoes around campus where i go but i hate closed-toed shoes obviously so i hate flip-flops Gladiator sandals are too fancy for college, even though I have like billions of pairs of gladiator sandals in my closet upstairs right now. So I found these and I was like, yes, perfect. Campus walking, doing it, buying these. The place that I stopped was Airy. And this is the bag. And if you don't know what Airy is, it's just kind of like a spinoff of American Eagle. They normally sell like bathing suits, bras, underwear, pajamas, and loungewear. And I've been looking for some loungewear stuff, so I went and stopped in there for a little bit, and I bought this bluish gray um, little kind of athletic loungewear pullover. I think the bottom is a little bit longer than the, or the back is longer than the front, so I always like shirts with like that. And it's just super cute, and it'll be very, very comfortable just to like wear around campus. Gray shirt. It looks just like this. It is has this really pretty slit in the side. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but it's a really high slit in it. And it's really, really loose and flowy, and it is just super gorgeous wearing on. In the market for some gray sweatpants, and I couldn't find any I liked anywhere else. So I got these gray sweatpants from Aerie. And they just have this tie on the front, and that's what the bottoms look like. And they're just super comfortable and cute, and I'm probably going to not wear these until school actually starts. I wasn't planning on going to Old Navy, but then my mom and I walked past, and we were like, you know what, let's just go in there, just see what's in there, um, see what they have. So we went in there, and it was extremely crowded, but we found our way around the store and picked up a few cute things. So the first thing I bought is two pairs of athletic socks. I lose my athletic socks all the time because my sister and I are constantly just like mixing up our laundry. These were two for 10, so I got two pairs of 
Lilac Socks, one colorful one and one white one. Seeing it like J. Crew and Madewell, they have like really cute um, shirts with like French words on them and I love French stuff. I studied French in high school. I've been to France, I've been to Paris and all these cities in France and Europe and I think I'm fairly decent at speaking French. Like I love things that have French words on them just because I love French culture. Like it's a thing, I don't know why, but I just love everything. Like I should have been born in France. Like I love it so much, but I, um, I've been looking for some shirts that kind of like made well in J. Crew sell, but those are way too expensive. So I tried to make my own from a shirt at Goodwill, but that looked tragic. So I walked into Old Navy and this was the first thing I saw and I just flipped out. I was like, I have to have that. I don't care how much it is. I have to have it. So it is just this gray shirt and it just says Paris in blue lettering on the front. And it's just super simple and super cute. And I'll probably just wear this with like boyfriend jeans or something and this was $14.94 so a lot better than like a hundred bucks like Madewell or J. Crew sells it for. Next thing is another French shirt. This one's super cute. It is a dark gray one and it says voila exclamation point and it's just I think it's adorable and again I'll probably just wear those with some like lighter wash blue jeans. Then the last thing I got from Old Navy was just a pair of purple athletic shorts. I've been looking for some more athletic shorts for school. So I just found these and these were $15 from Old Navy. The next place I went was J. Crew, and my my mom is really like obsessed with J. Crew, but I just think it's too overpriced. But when I saw these pants, I just knew that I really wanted them. I've been looking for a good pair of green pants and these are pretty much the best ones that I could find. I didn't really like any of the green pants anywhere else. So they're just like this and they were originally $130 but they were on sale for $39.99 so I was like, why not? Let's go ahead and get them. So they're just these long green pants with a red and white stripe on both sides and they're just super cute and I will probably wear them with like um I have a gray sweatshirt from J. Crew and it says um I can't remember what it says something in French but I'll probably just wear it with that or with like a denim shirt or something when fall. It was from Kinnikans. I don't know if all of you know what Kinnikans is but it is just a like preppy sporting goods store and this is what the bag looks like. It's just a really small bag because the thing I got was pretty small. So I've been um, in the market for a pair of um, the sunglasses um, holder string things. Apparently they're called croquis. I don't know what kind of name that is. I'm kind of new to the whole sunglass thing, but I thought this would be really nice for college so I don't have to be constantly carrying around my sunglasses. And I can just have them like hang on my neck. So I stopped at Kinnikans because I knew they'd probably, because I knew they would probably have them. And they're just black sunglasses um croaky or string or whatever and it's by southern marsh and it just has this little duck on it and i wanted black because i wanted to be able to wear it in the fall and winter because i almost bought lily pulitzer ones but they were more like a summer and spring pattern so i wanted to have this like during christmas time and then like winter and fall and stuff so i just got plain black because it can go with everything it'll be a lot easier just like hanging down on my chest and i can just like Put the sunglasses up than just like constantly carrying them around. The part one of my back to college haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the weird lighting. Somebody took the thing that holds my camera, so I had to bring it in to the living room because I my would I normally would film my room, but my camera thing is gone, so I just brought it here and sat on the coffee table because like this is the coffee table down here. And then there's like a chair right here and then the kitchen's back there then the couch is right there and then the chairs are over there i don't know why i'm explaining my whole living room layout to you but it has really good like natural lighting there's like these huge windows right there like the whole wall is pretty much a window so i thought it would have some good lighting in here but next time i promise i will have my camera holder back and probably a different camera and better quality so i hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching